Hi everyone, welcome back to our video tutorial. Today's video is about H5P activity creation on course creation. Let us start. Click on add and choose course presentation. By the way, course presentation is the same with a PowerPoint presentation. The difference is that this is considered to be in a higher level kind of presentation because you can add different types of questions such as drag and drop, true or false, multiple choice, single choice set, fill in the blanks. You can even add an audio, um, a video, shapes, and images, and a lot more. So let us begin. The title of this presentation is Top, top um, Sources of Vitamin C. For our first slide, let us put a title to it. Click on the on the plus sign to add the, the photo that we saved in our desktop. Okay. Once it has been completely uploaded, click on the done button. And then we can Okay, actually stretch it like this. If you would like to edit the photo that you have uploaded, you can click on the edit the pencil sign here and then tick on the edit image so that we can crop or create more editing options as needed. Mm -hmm. Once you're satisfied with the edited photo, click on the check mark and then click on save. Okay. Click on done so that the title will be reflected on our first slide okay for our second slide we can add a new slide by clicking on the add a new slide by the way we also have the option to put or to move our slides to the left or to the right or if we are not satisfied with our slide we can just simply delete it for our second slide, I'll be inserting a video. Okay, by the way, I have here a YouTube link that I need to paste in the video sources. Click on insert and then click on done. It will be reflected automatically on your second slide. So you can um, stretch or maximize the, the the entire page towards the end or the edges of the slide for our third slide click on the add a new slide once again and then click on image okay prior to the video recording i have saved my pictures in the desktop so it'll be easier to add it one by one in our slides, just like this. So this will be the top one source of vitamin, vitamin C, but it is really up to you whether you would like to start with the top 10 and then followed by top nine and down to the most, okay, or highest source of vitamin C. Click on the second, I mean, additional slide needs to be added. So click on add new slide once again. Click on add the image 
for the second topic, which is the second source of vitamin C. So the same procedure applies. So maximize the space by pulling the photo towards the edges of the slide. So let's add another slide. Once again, click on the images that we've saved earlier. Click on done. Okay. Okay, now let us try to add a question after our third lesson or our top third or uh, top three source of vitamin C. Let us click on fill in the blanks. All right, so the question would be okay, what is the vitamin C content per cup? Click on done. Oops. This is supposed to be added in our sixth slide. Let us click on add a new slide once again. Okay, and then choose fill in the blanks. Type in the question here. And then click on done. There you have it. As what you can see in the inserted question, there isn't any blanks that needs to be filled in. So click um, click on edit. And then according to the instruction, we need to put um, an asterisk before and after the correct answer. Okay. So let's check our source. So actually we would like to we would like the, the, the students to answer for this specific information here. Let's put her. Let us put it this way. So that's the, an asterisk and then the answer and then another asterisk after that. Okay, let's click on done. There you have it. Okay, the question is now generated properly. Let us add more question here. So roughly do more questions such as this. For number two. One hundred twenty eight. Okay, milligrams is the vitamin content per 100 grams. Okay, let's try this out with another question. Okay, asterisk and then followed by the answer. Okay. Nine hundred eighty two milligrams is the content is a vitamin C content per two hundred calories. Click on done once you are satisfied with the content of the questions. There you have it. 
So you have your three questions for this specific slide. If you will, if you would like to add more, just click on edit. Okay, so you see there's a space on the left side. We can add a photo here instead. Click on add. And then choose the bell peppers. Click on done. There you have it. Okay, let us add another slide. Okay, for our next top sources of vitamin C. Okay. All right, so as what you have, you can see on my canvas, there is no picture as at all because earlier we immediately click on the word done. Okay, we need to make sure to click on add and wait for the photo to be uploaded completely. Okay, click on done once again. Okay, we can add another photo here of the strawberry. Okay, so as what you can see in the seventh slide, we can insert more information in the specific slide by adding not just a text but also a photo of the strawberry and a video link as well. By the way, I have searched here on how we can grow strawberries click on the video sources insert the video link and then click on done so we can and put the video on the lower right hand side of the screen okay once you're satisfied with that we can move on to the next slide and add more sources of vitamin c Okay. All right, so once you are done with all the slides, just don't forget to click on save so that it will be reflected in your desired section. By the way, I suggest to save it from time to time to make sure that the information will not get lost at the middle of your course creation okay let us wait for it to load all right so there you go let us try to check if the video is working nice one how about the questions very let us try to answer this one for example my answer is 150. <laughs> Let's try to give a scientific guess. Um, G. Mm -hmm. Show a solution. Okay. All right, so there you have it. If you are you have yet to finish your course presentation, just click on edit to continue editing. All right, so thank you so much for watching today's video tutorial. I hope that you learned something from the H5P activities and see you on the next one. Goodbye for now.